All right, chapter 44, population ecology. In this chapter, we're going to cover the scope of ecology, the demographics of populations, population growth models, population, population size, life history patterns, and human growth, pop, human population growth. So we're going to start off with ecology. The term ecology was first coined by the German zoologist Ernst Haeckel, when he first, which he first defined as the study of interactions among all the organisms with their physical environment. Ecology is wide-ranging. At the lowest level, ecologists study how individual organisms are adapted to their environment, more specifically the place where it is where it lives. This is what's known as the habitat. Most organisms do not live in isolation. They're usually going to be part of a population. This is which this a population is all of the individuals of a species within a particular space at a particular time. At this level, ecologists are interested in the factors that affect growth and regulation of population size. A community consists of all the populations of multiple species interacting at that locale. So, for example, in a coral reef, there are numerous populations of algae, corals, crustaceans, fishes, etc all of those would be part of the community. At this level, ecologists are studying how those populations interact with one another. An ecosystem is going to be composed of the community of populations along with all of the abiotic factors. Um, so things like the availability of resources is going to come into play here. This doesn't have well-defined boundaries, but there are large transitional areas uh, known as ecotones between the various ecosystems. The biosphere is going to encompass all of the zones of the Earth's soil, water, air, where living organisms are found. So the last thing I want to mention is the scope of ecology. It's not just a science describing the world around us. It's a highly predictive science. Um, it involves the analyzing levels, analyzing levels of organization and developing models and hypotheses that can be tested. The central goal of modern ecology is to develop models that explain and predict the, the distribution and abundance of organisms. And it also has endless applications, management of plants and wildlife, identification of and, and efficient use of renewable and non-renewable resources, the preservation of habitats and natural cycles, the maintenance of food resources, the availability to predict the impact and course of diseases, things like malaria or AIDS or COVID-19. All of these things are found within the scope of ecology.